actually in real life, what you want to do is wash it off. Okay. okay? Because I'm going to guarantee you, this animal is not in real life. It's not going to stand there. Just, and of course, you got to clean all the uterus off too. All right. I should never re, re, put that re back in there. Okay. That's a no-no. Do they say not as I do? <laughs> Um, okay, no, no, no. Generally, when you scrub an area to, to invade an area, you're going to go in the body. You start in the middle where your incision is going to be, and you work your way out. Now, this should take me, Dr. Keller, take it five, ten minutes to do this. Okay? <laughs> That's fine. Always remember that. I know, once, honey. Once you've gone out, you don't come back in. You go middle to outside, you don't come back in. And you shouldn't use this hand. In livestock, you grab in with the clean hand, transfer it to your dirty hand. Yeah. Or, yeah, you don't want to take this and contaminate the water. All right, there's a whole bunch of stuff. All right. Okay, can you give me a pair of gloves? You. you notice how nice and sterile I am? <laughs> when I'm doing livestock, I generally wash my hands. I don't do a surgical scrub. Because remember, we're lucky enough to keep the animal inside of a squeeze chute or something for 10 minutes and before they go completely crazy. So what you got to do is plan ahead. And my hands are wet. And I should take my watch off. And remember to melt down your gloves. You don't want the ends of them to be all full of air and stuff. And you can't, the reason for these is you want to have tactile stimulation, you know, you can feel. All right, now what I would do in a case like this in, in, uh, in real life is I would inject lidocaine. Pretend this is lidocaine. You know what lidocaine is? It's an anesthetic, topical anesthetic. And what I would do is I could either take this off and stick it all around here. All around here and make a blip. I stick it all around there and then I give her a couple minutes to let it take effect. Because what I want to do is I don't want her to feel, have her feel the needle going into the skin. Okay? Then I would take my second syringe and I would use probably in her case about a half a cc. And then what I would do, bevel up. What I would do is I'd find where I want to inject it, and then what I do is I inject it very slowly. Push it in, and if you're really good at it, you'll hear a that's the epidural space sucking air in. Okay, and you can usually feel it. When you get in there, you know you're going too far because if you stick it in and then you feel like you hit a piece of celery, that's the, uh, the cauda equina. That's uh, where the, like the spinal cord is split up. You can feel the nerves in there. You crush it, so you want to go a little bit above that. On a big old, big old steer, I've done this on steers and I've done this on uh, big old beef cows, um, it's easy. Stick it in there and you can feel it. Then, after you got the needle in there, then you take this and you make sure it's on there nice and tight and then you inject. If you're in there properly, it just flows right in. If you're in there improperly, you try to push and you can't get anything out. Then you know you're not in the epidural space. You're somewhere. Okay? Then all you gotta do is wait about 10 minutes. And then what I do is to make sure that she's anesthetized, I would lift up, this is obviously a male, because you do mean it is a female, but then I would stick my needle in, you know, prick it, she does not jerking, then I could do my thing. 
usually if you put the uh, if you got a cow down, many times the cow go the cow is down, and you got to do this laying on the ground. Oh, that's a nightmare because you want gravity to work with you. You want to have the animal standing up. You clean off the uterus, and then I put uh, um, sulfurea powder or something on it, something that has a more will create more osmotic pressure to draw all the fluids out of the uterus. And you can see the uterus practically dripping. In a, in a pinch, you can put sugar on it, table sugar, okay? And you put it on there, and it'll just draw. You can see it just dripping with the moisture. And you see it just physically shrink up in size. Then you want to rinse it off, and then you start pushing it in that little tiny hole. And you keep pushing. And the grass, as soon as you get most of it over the edge of the pelvis, it'll fall in all by itself. And then you, what you would do is to suture the vulva. Close. Put a couple stitches in there. Um, and that's about it. Then, of course, you stand around here. I usually stick around by the time I'm cleaning all the stuff up and I'm cleaning myself up, then the animal gets up.